We oui, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Donnie B all day. So before I left for Arizona a couple weeks ago, uh, I was sent two knives, and the only message with the two knives was check these out and figure it out. And at first I didn't know what he meant, and then I was really looking at these knives, and I already did a review on um, this guy right here. And it's easily accessible to me because it was in my pocket. I was actually carrying this because this knife is kind of cool. So this was selling as the Kershaw 1415. It's not the 1415. Uh, 15 is a different knife. Um, it's actually the Sanctum design with different colors. That's what it is. So it was basically a Chinese company made a Kershaw Sanctum called it a 1415 and they even sent it. I don't have it with me um, In a Kershaw box with the paperwork, right? So when I was told Figure it out as soon as I opened it I said I know this knife, but something wasn't right to me and that's when I figured out it was the sanctum and the colors were wrong and and uh, I was able to piece some things together with that knife and that knife this knife knives i'm telling you this thing is under 20 bucks if you can find it the 1415 and it's in a few different places um and this thing really nice it's it's a quality made ripoff pretty much um but it's really really good and sexy looking so the other knife that was sent it took me a few minutes literally it took me a few minutes to to, to get it and um this is called uh the maven by crkt and oh, the action on this one not as crisp um and again it came in a crkt box it came with crkt paperwork everything everything crkt and it came i had oil on this thing and i think i'm slowing it down because i think it's overly oiled but um this the Maven, and I'm like, okay, I know this knife. I know this knife well. Uh, this is the Maven. And I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and then it hit me. Wait a second. Maven came with black scales. Black scales. So the design was stolen from CRKT. You can see it's getting a little better. Um, and it's the Maven, and just like it, 8.2 inches, uh, 8.22 inches overall, 3.68 blade length, um, 0.88 cutting width, 0.13 blade thickness. They have it in CRKT. It's an 8CR13 MOV. I don't really know what this is. Um, hollow grind. It's a hollow grind. It's like everything that's supposed to be Maven about this knife is Maven except the colors. And I'm like, that's what it is. So, and it really, what made me really, really look and, and try to figure out was the fact that once I realized this one was not a real Kershaw, then I knew that he was sending me this one because this one wasn't a real um, CKR, uh, CRKT, and I just had to figure it out. And that's what it, it popped into my head was colors. I looked it up real quick, and boom, there it is, black scales. I tried finding tan scales everywhere now this one is out of stock in pretty much almost everywhere i mean it's they, they can be found i don't mean this one i mean the real one can be found um but it's out of stock in in pretty much most dealers you know what i mean um so people who want one can actually get a knockoff uh for pennies it's another one that's like between 10 and 15 bucks something like that um but you see the action is not as smooth it'll it'll pop but um and i'm assuming once i work it in because i just threw oil on it and started trying it and you really have to pull to to snap it if i just pull regular it's going to do that but i can i can kick it obviously um so you if i just break the seal and do that it's going to open no matter what but if you love this style of knife and you were a fan when they came out with the uh, with the Maven and you were having a hard time finding one, um, it's obtainable. G10. I mean, it, it's literally, you look at it and it, it's the same knife. I mean, it really is. It's the same knife, just different. Um, so the question of questions is, does this 
knife. Like this one, this one is a really good knife, man. I don't care if it's a knockoff. If it's a great freaking knife, it's a great knife. And that's all it takes. This thing has disappointed me zero times in use as a knife. So now we have to test this one. Um, what we want to do here is, uh, I gotta see if it's shave sharp. Holy crap. Um, so that was literally, I just touched, I mean, just touched my leg with this knife and the hair. <laughs> it was like, it was like it was already asking to be removed. Like that hair was in line, right? <laughs> like, like me next, me next, me next. And as soon as it got its opportunity, it jumped. That was super freaking sharp. Let's, I want to see, I've been using this one for days. I did a full review on it, full test. Did a lot of work with this one. Let's see. Does it hold an edge? Yep. It's still shaving. It's still knocking hairs off. It's still sharp, sharp, sharp. And this is a knockoff, guys. It's it's a Chinese-made production of a different knife. This edge has been used for three days now. Straight. I don't know. So this one though, this is crazy sharp. But let's take it outside and cut some other stuff and see if it kind of stays sharp and stays working, stays tight. Come on, let's go. All right, it's cold out here. I really love it. Now it's opening a lot better now that I'm working it. Um, I really love getting the opportunity to test um, some really, really budget price knives because a lot of guys out there won't do it. A lot of knife reviewers, especially once you pass... 20,000 subscribers and you start to get a following you start to feel a need to only do high-end knives and you think well what am I going to do a budget knife for first of all some people just can't afford a uh, an expensive knife second some people can't afford a, an expensive knife but they figure what if I lose or break or something happens I, I'd rather be out 10 bucks than a thousand bucks and it makes sense so so there's a lot of people out there that um, really wish people would go after, um, like people like me would come after knives that they can buy a bundle of. Okay, I got 10 of them and it cost me less than one of the, of the other ones. You know what I mean? So I think it's important to be able to, um, to give everybody an option and not just the people with paychecks that are big. So, um, so we're going to come over here and, and really, it's starting to, it's starting, the action's getting a lot better. Um, playing with it, it I'm not going to lie, out of the box, the action was slow and, and terrible. Put a little oil on it, put a lot of oil on it. And now that the oil is actually working in, it's doing, uh, it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. Let's do some drops. I have this, I don't know if it's going to be able to drop into this because it's plywood, but we're going to try some four foot drops, some gravity drops into the plywood. Hey, hey. All right, so the tip is actually really, really nice. Uh-oh, that was on me. I mean, it is a folder. Oh! All right, so let's do a couple hard downwards. Bam! That got some good bite into the plywood. No tip bending. Ugh. Yeah. So, um, I, I got to say that that bites in extremely well. I got some good sunshine now to really show it to you um it looks like the maven but with tan scales so if you have a maven and you said to yourself man i wish it didn't only come in black well there's another option um i think you can find these on timu and oh, there might be a couple other places i'm not sure but um i know when i looked it up um i found it on timu um so they are i'm not sure where he got them he just sent them to me so, I don't know. But on Timu, this thing was, um, I think it was under 15 bucks. It was like $12, $8, I don't know, somewhere in there. But um, let's see. Straight up push cut on the, on the nylon rope. And super, super clean. These, you, you can buy some really, really cheap knockoffs. I mean, some really cheap knockoffs. And then every now and then, you can find yourself a really... I mean, quality knockoff. The other one, 
that I that I've been using that Kershaw knockoff is fantastic. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I would love to be able to say it sucks because you don't really want to support knockoffs. It's somebody taken from somebody else. But if it knifes, it knifes. You know what I mean? If it didn't have a name on it, I'd use it. Look at this. So if it's got a fake, oh my gosh, that is so smooth cutting that leather. That is so incredibly smooth. Um, I mean, if it knifes, it knifes, right? So the, the thing is, if you don't like the, the thought of a knockoff, then you don't buy it. It's just the way it is. If you're buying a knife because you really appreciate the design, um, the designer who designed this still designed this. He didn't make the knife. He designed it and some other company made it. So if another company is making it and selling it, somebody's still appreciating his design. You know what I mean? If somebody has a, their own forge at their house and they decided to make a, 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 a D-bad gator tail and they did it on their own so they could use it because they wanted one but couldn't afford one that's fine really i mean you 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 loved my design so much that you decided to make yourself one okay i'm i mean i'm honored i'm flattered so to find a company that's selling knives that are designed you know what i mean and there, there's a thing is you have to be um oh wow that was nice um you have to have a five percent difference in a in a knife if you're go wow if you're gonna sell one that is is a fake right so five percent there could be i mean the color is gonna be a partial of a per you know some kind of percentage the way they do some of the lettering there's got to be something even internally as long as you have five percent difference then it's legal you know what i mean you you can do that so that's uh that's how that works. A lot of people think, oh, they can't do that. It's illegal. Well, so especially in foreign countries where they don't have those kind of laws, they can do whatever they want. And if uh, if they're selling in the market where it is illegal, then they just sell them until they get told they can't. You know what I mean? It's just the way things are. Wow. So just like the other one, this knife knives i mean it's acting like a knife it's working like a knife it's looking like a knife it smells like a knife that's a knife guys i mean for for people who don't want to spend the money or people who know they're gonna lose one or people who want truck knives or gift knives things like that if you're gonna do a raffle and you want to throw knives in a raffle get yourself a, a cheap knife that's gonna be quality because you don't want to give a piece of crap but, I mean, the knife is knifing. It's hard, it's hard for me as a knife reviewer and a knife designer and a knife maker to support a, 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 like a ripoff type company. But it's also hard for me not to support a good knife. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like if, if, my, if somebody took... The Case Double X, one of my favorite knives on the planet. It was one of my um, my Grail knives. If somebody took that knife, completely, completely did it head to toe, 100% to where you couldn't see the difference, and sold it as that knife, even though it wasn't, and I found out it was a fake. If I love that knife so much because of the aesthetics and everything about it, and this the fake was exactly it. How could I hate it? You know what I mean? I want to, I'd want to hate it. I'd say, oh, I can't believe these people did that. But if what drove me to love the knife wasn't the name, then, you know what I mean? Like if you're buying a knife for the name, you know, oh, I, I really, I really want a Bark River. So I don't care what it is as long as it says Bark River on it. Then, I mean, you're buying a brand. You're not buying the knife. So... I'd rather buy the knife than the brand because I want what works and I want what's going to work. Um, but you also want to be respectful to the brand. So it, you, you're put in kind of a, you're put kind of a tricky situation there um, where you don't want to disrespect the brand by, by supporting people who are ripping them off. But at the same time, um, 
if you can get a knife cheap, you know what I mean? And if you didn't know it was a ripoff especially, then you think you're just getting a good deal. If I went to Smoky Mountain Knife Works and I saw this sitting in a CRKT um, uh, shelf and I picked it up not knowing it was a ripoff, maybe they got in a batch and they thought, oh, wow, they started making them, you know what I mean, with tan. Like somebody, one of their distributors sent them on accident and they started selling them. If they found out later that, hey, you have to take these off the shelf because we found out that they're not real, they're not going to cry and, and puke their brains out. They're going to go, oh, crap. All right, well, let's take them off the shelf and we won't sell anymore. That's it. You know what I mean? You sold a bunch of knives that people probably aren't going to bring back complaining that they're not working because clearly it works. So it's kind of a conundrum, man. You put yourself in, in a weird spot. Like, do I support it? Do I not? Um, I do not support what they do. But um, if I didn't know, I, I'd support this knife all day. I mean, I'm doing all this testing right here, all this carving and all this use, and I'm not finding a reason to not like the knife. If I didn't know anything about this knife, if I didn't know that it came in black instead of tan, I would not, I'd be saying, man, CRKT did it again. Man, they, did it. they made a great knife. How would I be wrong? You know what I mean? If I didn't know, how would I be wrong? Let's see. Let's see here. Look at this. 100% shave sharp. 100% shave sharp. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to say, man. I feel bad. I feel bad that I like it so much. This one and the other one because they're knockoffs. And there's two different kinds of knockoffs you can get. You can get the knockoffs... I don't know if anybody ever saw the movie Knockoff with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, and he puts on a, a pair of knockoff sneakers and he runs down the road and they fall apart while he's running. There's those knockoffs where it's going to be looking exactly like the product. Instead of saying Nike, it'll say like an LKE or something. You know what I mean? Where they, they have the knockoff and they change just enough for you to know it's a knockoff. Kind of like this. The difference is some of those might last you forever. Some of them might just be crap. I haven't had this forever. This is my first day using it. What I can tell you is it's a user. It works. I just, I mean, I cut leather. I freaking batoned. I cut, cut wood. I did a whole bunch of feathering. We cut rope. We slammed it into a piece of plywood. <laughs> it's still all there. I don't know. So this is a really good tackle box knife, truck knife, um, or EDC. You can carry this. You can use it. Uh, if you if you find them, if you literally found one of these, if you came across, you typed in CRKT Maven, and you found one of these, I would tell you, hey, man, you probably shouldn't support it because it's a knockoff, but I would also tell you, look, if, if you got eight to 12 bucks, however much it costs. And that's what you have to buy a knife. Why not? It's going to work. And as long as you don't go to CRKT and go, Hey, look what I got. Ha ha. You're not rubbing it in their faces. And no matter what, if no matter what, I'm going to tell you this, the companies who are making these, if you don't buy it, they're still making them. Somebody's going to buy it somewhere. So it's not like, Oh, if I buy one, then they're, they're going to keep doing it. They're going to make it. They're going to they're going to stay in business anyway. Your decision to or not to isn't changing anything. It's not changing anything. Um, that's just fact. So budget knife made by some people who are not the people that says so on the blade. I'll tell you what, man, it works. I don't know. I don't know. I got a love hate relationship with these, but if they knife, I'm going to knife with them. So. That's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All day. Till next knife.